Hey there, my name's Chris Winter and welcome to my tutorial where I'm gonna teach you how to build a WordPress website using Bluehost and Elementor. Now we're gonna use Bluehost as the hosting service and we're also gonna use Elementor to design an amazing website even if you know no coding. So you don't have to know any HTML, CSS or JavaScript and we're gonna have a fantastic website. And guys, I've also got a gift for you for watching this tutorial. In the description box right below this video, I'm gonna put a list of the top 50 must-have WordPress plugins for this year. This is the ultimate list and it goes through every WordPress plugin which you need to add to your website. Now, I'm not gonna keep this list up for long, so if you wanna get it, it'll be in the description box below right under this video. So let's get started and start using Elementor with WordPress and Bluehost. So if you wanna have this amazing looking website by the end of this video, which is totally possible to do, it's important that you watch every part of this video and follow every step. If you do miss steps or you don't watch it the whole way through, you'll probably have errors and these will be really hard to fix and you might have to pay someone to fix them for you. So I'd highly recommend watching every second of this video because there are some really important steps in the middle to the end of this video, which will be critical to making sure that your website works perfectly. But if you do follow every step, you're gonna have an amazing looking website by the end of this video. You can totally do it. So what do you actually need to create a website? Well, there are a few different steps. The first thing is you need to have website hosting, which is a place where your website's actually located. Every website has a website host, like Bluehost or Dreamhost or Hostgator. And I'll have links in the description box below to where you can get a really good discount on these. Next, you will need a domain name, something like www.yourwebsite.com or www.youtube.com. It's a place where people can actually go to get to your website. Now these normally cost around about 10 to $50 a year, but with the host that I recommend in the description box below, you'll be able to get these for free. And then you just need to install WordPress on your website and I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's super easy. It's literally just like one click and it'll be installed. So that's all you need to do. You need hosting, you need a domain name and you need to install WordPress. And then once all that's done, we can get onto the fun part, which is designing your website and making it look awesome. For today, we're gonna to use Bluehost as our website host. So the first step is to click the link in the description box below right under this video and that'll take you to Bluehost where you can set up your website. That link's also pretty sweet because it gives you over a 50% discount on your hosting. So it's the best link to use. So once you've clicked that, we can get started creating your website. So let's now set up our WordPress hosting with Bluehost. And like I said before, that link in the description box below is pretty sweet because it gives you a free domain name and also a pretty big discount from $7.99 to $3.95. So to get started, we're gonna hit get started. And then you can choose the plan that you want. Honestly, for most people, you may as well just get the cheapest plan and save some money. It's only $3.95, which is really good value. The only other one I would recommend is this one here, which is called Plus, and this allows you to have unlimited websites, whereas the basic one only allows you to create one. But if you're only planning on creating one website, I'd probably go for this one. So let's do that one. Once you're ready, hit select. So I'm gonna search for something like Chris Winter. I know .com's taken, so I'll go for chriswinter.online. Then you can hit next. Great, that one's available. So what I'm gonna do now is put in my account information and then I'm gonna choose which plan I want. So the way it works with hosting is that it generally gets cheaper the longer that you stay with the hosting company. So you can see 36 months is $3.95 versus the 12 months, which is $5.95. Again, it's totally up to you which one you wanna have. If you know you're gonna have the website for longer than a year, probably best to go for the longer version and save some money. Or if you just wanna have the 12 month one, you can do that. That's what we'll do today. Now they're gonna try and upsell you on a few things here like domain privacy and code guard. You really don't need these, so deselect these if you want. Yes. And that'll save you a good $50. Then all you need to do is put in your card details and then we can agree to terms of service and now we can get onto the fun stuff, designing your website. Let's hit submit. Awesome, that's done. Now we can hit create your account. As you can see, we have our domain name here, which we registered before. Now we can create a password to log into Bluehost. And that's done. And then we can hit create. Great, now we can log in. So we'll log in with that password we just used. And then they're gonna ask you a few questions, but I highly recommend just skipping this. So we can go to the bottom and hit skip this step. And then hit skip this step. And then we will actually put a bit of information in here. So what do we wanna name our site? Something like Chris Winter's website and my website, a tagline as well then you can say how comfortable you are, hit continue. And then they're gonna install WordPress for us. It's super simple. So WordPress is now installed. How easy was that? So all we need to do now is click on WordPress and this will take us to our WordPress dashboard where we can get started designing our website. 
So we're here at your WordPress dashboard now, and as you can see, it's a little bit cluttered. This is because hosting companies always add in all of this stuff that you don't really need. So what I would highly recommend you do is go to the left here where it says plugins and click this. And then what we're gonna do is delete these plugins. So we're gonna scroll down and then click this button and click here, hit deactivate and then apply. And then we're gonna hit this button again and click delete. What this is going to allow us to do is have a nice fresh start and it's not going to slow us down with this website uh, with all of these plugins that we don't really need. So once you're happy with that and you've done that, what we're going to do is hit dashboard. Okay, so we're here at our WordPress dashboard and we're ready to set up a website using Elementor. So the first thing that we want to do is install a plugin. Now that plugin is going to be called Astra and to do this we go to plugins and add new. Now the Astra plugin is gonna give us a really nice selection of different templates that we can use, and then we'll be able to edit them with Elementor. So to search for it, we go to the top right here and search for Astra. And here it is right here. This is called Starter Templates, and it's actually gonna install Elementor for us without us having to do it. So to do this, all we need to do is install now, and then we can click Activate. So we now have all of the templates in our WordPress. What we can do now is click See Library, and we can take a look at all of the awesome templates, which we can start with so we can edit with Elementor. As you can see, there are a number of different templates that comes with this. It's absolutely incredible. Now, some of these are paid and some of these are free, but I'd like to create this site for you for as cheap as possible. All we really need is hosting and why pay for something if we can get some really good free themes. So to see the free themes, all you need to do is go to all and then choose free. As you can see, we still have a number of amazing things which we can use for our website. And all of these are super easy to change with Elementor. I think for today, we're gonna to use this theme right here. This is called the mountain theme. And as you can see, it comes with a great home page, which we can really easily adjust, but it also has really nice other pages. So we've got an about page here, which has a nice custom layout. We have a services page, and we have a contact page. Again, all of these are really easy to edit with Elementor. So once we're happy with your theme, we can click import complete site. And then all you need to do is click import. This takes maybe a minute to three minutes or so. And once it's done, we'll be ready to edit. Fantastic, it's imported successfully. Once this is done, you can click view site. And what you'll see is that we have a fully featured website already ready for it us to edit with Elementor. As you can see, within just a few minutes, we now have this beautiful hero image. We have these images down here with our services or things that we can add. We've got a text section here. We've got a nice parallax effect. And you can see that that looks really cool with the image below and the website scrolling across. We've got a gallery. We've got a nice footer here. And one great thing is that it's completely responsive, which means that as I move this here, it goes in and out. It'll work perfectly, not only on computer, but also on iPad and also on your phone. So as this is an Elementor tutorial, let's take a look and start editing with Elementor. Like I said before, as we'd already installed that Astro plugin, it had already installed Elementor. So to start now, all we need to do is go to the top here and click edit with Elementor. So as you can see, we now have the Elementor panel right here. And one of the great things about using Elementor is that you can pretty much edit everything without having to know any code. And you can actually create and edit your text simply by scrolling over it like you would do on a Word document. So if we wanna change this here, all we need to do is simply delete it and start typing. So let's create a website for a wedding company. So we'll call this uh, wedding services and we'll call it, let's say, welcome to Los Angeles Wedding Services. There we go, something kind of made up, but that's okay. As you can see, we can also change this here as well. This is a subtitle. We help you have a perfect wedding day. And even the buttons and things like this are super easy to change with Elementor. So we can change this here simply by collect, selecting it we could make this our services and then we could also keep this. Maybe we'll change this to our story. That's looking really fantastic. We can even change this background image here. Now, one of the great places where I love to find images is a website called Unsplash. So 
to go to this, you go to unsplash.com and they've got a lot of free images, which are really fantastic. All of these are freely usable, they're royalty free, and you can find so many great images. Let's search for wedding. This one here would be a fantastic image for that hero image. So I'm going to save a few of these images and we'll come back. Fantastic. So I've got a few of those images on unsplash.com and it's really great. I highly recommend it. It's a free website, so why not take advantage of it? So if we want to change this background image here, it's really simple. With Elementor, all you need to do is pretty much right click on anything you want to edit and it'll allow you to edit it. So let's right click on this background image and click edit section. Now what we want to do is change the style and you can see that this is the background image that's already there. To change this, we click choose image and then we can simply drag this photo right in. So I think we'll use this photo here. It was a really nice one and you can see it's uploading and then all you need to do is click insert media. As you can see, we now have our background image there, really uh, shaping this perfectly. I think what we'll do is perhaps change this a little bit. As you can see, we have an image overlay, like a background overlay here. Let's change this. So I went to background overlay. And I think I'll change the color to a more of a darker color. That looks a bit better. We can also change the opacity or how dark it goes simply by sliding here on Elementor. I think that there is a nice mix of seeing the image, but also being able to read the text. Now, whenever you want to save anything on Elementor, all you need to do is simply click update. Make sure you do this so you don't lose any of your important work that you've done. So what if I want to change this button right here? Well, again, all you need to do is click on edit and you can see that we have the text color here, which is blue. I think blue is quite nice, but I would like to change the color that it changes on hover. So to change this, all you need to do is click on hover. We'll change the background color to perhaps a, uh, perhaps we'll go for like a gold kind of color. Let's do that. And as you can see, when I hover over this now, it now changes to a nice gold color. I think we'll go a little bit lighter than that. There we go. And let's change the text color to that gold to match it as well. Let's have a look now what happens when I hover. As you can see, it looks really nice. Let's click update and we'll take a look at our website. So here's the website. It's really starting to take shape. We now have this nice text image. Uh, sorry, we now have this nice text. We have this background image and we have this button here, which we changed. I actually noticed something. As you can see, these people here are a little bit cut off. We can change this really easily. If we go back to our edit page and again, we right click on this photo what we can do is go to background and we can change where the actual photo is going to be centered. So currently it's in top center. Let's change that to center center. If I update this now and have a look at the website again, we'll refresh that. You can see that they're a little bit higher up now and it really does look better. It's nice because it kind of shapes uh, the, the text around here with the people right there with the nice mountains. It really does look great. Let's scroll down a little bit and take a look at the different services here, which we can change easy with Elementor. So again, these are just super easy to change. All you need to do is right click and click edit column. Let's change the style again, and you can see the current image. Let's click choose image and we'll drag the photos in. I think we'll use this photo here. That looks really good. Simply click insert media. There's the first one. And let's do this one. Edit column, style, choose image. I think we'll use this photo here. Click insert media. And then how about the last one? Again, what do we do? Simply right click, edit column, style, and then choose image. It's so simple to do. Let's drag this photo in here. It's amazing what we've done in about five minutes. Super quick to create a really nice website. Let's click insert media. So as you can see, we now have these beautiful photos here, but we do have this text which we need to change. As you know, it could be, it could be really difficult to do. But of course, with Elementor, 
and using WordPress, it's really easy. So let's simply type in what we'd want. So maybe we could do uh, dinners. We could also choose uh, ceremonies. And maybe we could do photography. So these are the services that we'll offer as the Los Angeles wedding services. It's really cool like that and it's so simple to do. We can scroll down now and take a look at this section right here. Again, it's really simple. All we need to do is simply type in the text. And because we have this great template already, it's really easy. We could maybe do a little bit of an about us here. So we could say, we've been making wonderful weddings since 1999. And then you could also write some text here. And perhaps we could change this button here to say our story. Now, as you can see, this button's still blue. So let's change it to keep it a little bit nicer. So again, we go to style. We'll change the hover on this button. Oh, sorry, we've got to edit button. Change the hover. Let's go to a gold color again. And you can see when we hover over this, it's now gold. Of course, you can make this a lot nicer yourself if you want, but I'm just showing you the basics. Let's click update because it's always important to do that. So next up, we have a really nice section here called a parallax effect section. As you can see, rather than the website moving with that photo, it simply glides over it and looks really cool. We could have a call to action, so perhaps we could uh, right here, let's uh, get in touch or something, touch with us, maybe they can get in contact. And you could have some other text and then you've got that contact. But what I would like to do now is perhaps change this to an image. So again, like we did on the hero image, all we need to do is right click, click edit section, and we go to style. Again, it's really simple stuff that we're learning over and over. Click choose image. And let's, oh, sorry. Let's put a nice large image here. How about this one here? This looks great. Drag that one on, upload it. Click insert media. And you can see we have a great photo here that really makes this stand out. And as we scroll up and down, it just looks great. I don't really like this blue background, so I'm going to change that. Again, we go to background overlay. We'll change the second color just to a darker color. We could make it a bit lighter and perhaps have it a little bit warmer. That looks pretty good actually, let's do that. Again, when you're ready, click update and we can take a look at how our website's starting to turn out with Elementor. So we refresh this, we've got our great opening hero image up here with our text got our dinners, our ceremonies, and our photography section. We could easily link these as well to different pages once we've made them. We've got our little intro here telling people we've been making wonderful weddings since 1999. And our story with that nice gold button. Then as we go down here, we really start to get some nice features with this parallax theme here. One lovely thing I would love to do, let's make our website look really cool here. And this is so cool with Elementor, what we can do. Let's go to YouTube and let's create a background video here. So let's search for a wedding video and let's find a nice wedding video. This one here looks good. We'll copy the link and all we need to do, rather than changing this to an image, we go to background type and we go from classic to gradient, now we click on video and watch this. All we need to do is put that YouTube URL, we'll paste that in here and watch this. We now will have an amazing background video which will use the parallax effect. Oh, it actually doesn't use the parallax effect but it just looks absolutely incredible and it's really gonna work and impress the people who watch your website. So if I click update here again, and in just a few minutes, we've created this amazing effect. We scroll down and you can see we have this incredible video, which just screams at people. 
this is a pro looking website. It really does look absolutely fantastic. And you can use any YouTube video that you want. Maybe depending on what kind of website it's gonna be, it might be some fitness footage, might be showing off your products, but it looks so cool. Below here, we even have another cool section. And this is a gallery and galleries are really easy to use with Elementor. So if we wanna edit this section, all we need to do again is right click and click edit basic gallery. You can see we have the images here, which we've already got. And to edit these, all you need to do is click here on this little pencil. We can move these around if we wanted to, change where they are, or if you wanna add some more, click add to gallery and we can drag some photos in. So simply drag this one in, perhaps this one, maybe this one. We'll drag these in and they're gonna upload and you'll see that it's this easy to create a gallery. So say if you're creating a wedding photography company, you can really easily show off your great photos. So once they're in here, all you need to do is click add to gallery and you'll see that they're now in our gallery here. We have these other photos and if you ever wanna delete any of these, all you need to do is simply delete them and we can move these here to the front. We'll click insert gallery and you'll see that just like that, we have our new photos in here and it really does look fantastic. We could even change it to columns just to have two. So we can have them a little bit larger. That looks pretty good. Let's update this and then refresh our website. Simply click refresh. And you can see we now have our own photos right here looking really, really good. Even better, if I click on this, it comes up in a light box and looks really cool because you can get a bigger version of your photos with a nice sliding effect. What about if we wanted to, for example, add a title up here? Well, that's easy because with Elementor, there are so many different uh, pre-built kind of uh, sections that you can add. To add these, all you need to do is go to the top right here. There's a little icon here. We can simply add a heading. To add this, all you need to do is click it, drag it, and bring it in wherever you want. So you can see it's right here. We could say some of our wedding photography and that's as simple as that. But I'd like to have this in the center, so all I need to do is align it to the center. That looks really cool. You can also make this bigger or smaller if you want. You can go small or large, or even extra large. That looks pretty nice. I think that's how we wanna have it. Now you can really get detailed with Elementor, and I'm only showing you the basics here, but for example, if we wanted to adjust the padding on this, so you make it a little bit lower, all you need to do is go to advanced over here on the right and you can adjust the padding or the margin. It doesn't really matter, both it's very similar. You can simply make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. It's so simple. All you need to do is follow this tutorial and you're gonna be good. Again, all we need to do is click update. We'll check out our website here. Let's have a look, refresh this. Let's go down. We've got all of our great sections which we've used. And here it is, here's our gallery. And you can see that we've got a nice bit of padding here which we've added. And of course we can have a look at these now. Down here we have our footer. And if we want to, we can easily change our logo. But I think what we'll do right now is actually go to another page. So let's go to services here. So we're on our homepage. And the great thing with Elementor is that wherever you are, you can easily edit it without having to know code. So what we can do, we're on the services page. All we need to do is go to the top here and click edit with Elementor. So you can see that wherever you are on the website, you can simply jump in and edit. So we could change this to our wedding services. Simple, click on that. And how about we change this image? You know how to do that. You right click, click edit section, style, and there's the image. Let's click choose image. We already have some of these, so we can simply bring one of these photos in. I reckon this photo here. 
click insert and it's looking great. What about changing that image overlay? How do we do that? Well, we remember we go to background overlay, change the secondary color. We liked it with a little bit of warmth in it. I thought that was really good. That looks so cool. Let's click update and it's looking great. Now, if you ever want to see what your website looks like on mobile, all you need to do is go down here to where it says responsive mode and you can click and you can see what it looks like on a tablet, like an iPad. Looks really good. Or even on a phone. Remember, a lot of people are watching their websites on phones and you can see that this website's fully responsive. So it adjusts depending on the size of the screen. Let's go back to desktop and we'll change a few of these here. So we can change this image again, super easy. Let's go to this services here, edit image, choose image. We already have some uploaded so we can simply drag these in here. We'll go for this one here. I like this photo and we'll do this one here, edit image, choose image, this one here, so easy. And this one here, it's, it's really fun to do this once you know what you're doing. And look at that, looking great. Again, if you wanna edit the text, you could do wedding planning. We could do photography and perhaps videography. So making wedding videos. Click update. And if we go to our website again, all you need to do is go to the top here at this services section, click services, and so quickly we have this amazing top uh, banner here with our wedding services and that nice color over the top. We've got this wedding planning where you could add some text here and then you've got a contact button. Photography, videography. Then you could also add some frequently asked questions as well. What about our contact page? Let's, that's important. We want people to be able to contact us. So again, we can go to this page, click edit with Elementor. And then let's change this image. Let's go for another one just to keep the theme really good. Insert image, you know how to do this. Then we can even add a map. So to add the, edit the map, you could click up here on the right and you can change the location. Now we're not based in New York, we're based in Los Angeles. So all you need to do is type in the location and look at that. We now have a fully functional map where people can search. You could put your actual business address or wherever you want. You can even change the zoom amount. It's super cool. I think we'll zoom in a little bit. Perhaps we'll zoom in to 15. That looks pretty good. You can even change the style as well. There's so much you can do with this, but now we have it. It really is looking fantastic. Again, when you're happy, click update and let's take a look at our website. So, so quickly, we now have this amazing hero image at the top here. We've got our buttons and our text. We've got this here, which we can link to our different services. This could easily link to one of our pages. Maybe that services page we created. Got a bit of an about us page here. And this here is really nice. I got this background video and this call to action. It looks great. We're showing off our wedding photography as well, which we can click on these and create a nice slider. And then if we go down, we've got our nice footer here. And then even our pages are now really good. We've got our services, of course, with our nice image up here and then the different services. And of course, this is also really good and it's gonna look great on the phone as well. Got a contact page, which we've changed with the photo up here. And we even have a map which people can simply scroll. And that looks so cool. We did all this so quickly. And of course, this is how you do it. Now in my full tutorials, I will go into more depth so we can really go in and start to link to everything. But this is amazing what you can get up and running so quickly. Hope you guys really liked it. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to check out my, uh, uh, my other website videos, because I do have a lot of videos going in depth with Elementor where we really go in and make your website even better. But make sure to check out the links in the description box below if you wanna get those discounts on hosting. That's pretty much the only difficult part, but I do show you at the start of this video how to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice website you got there. And guys, I've also got a gift for you for watching this tutorial. 
In the description box right below this video, I'm gonna put a list of the top 50 must have WordPress plugins for this year. This is the ultimate list and it goes through every WordPress plugin which you need to add to your website. Now, I'm not gonna keep this list up for long, so if you wanna get it, it'll be in the description box below right under this video. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Elementor is a fantastic piece of software, especially if you know a few little tricks on how to use it, but you really can get a website up and running really quickly and looking fantastic. Now, if you do wanna get started with Bluehost, I'll have links in the description box below where you can go get started uh, and get a pretty good discount on some hosting there as well. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button because that really helps the channel. And also subscribe if you like this kind of WordPress uh, tutorials and videos, because I'm gonna make lots of videos of this in the future. Hope you guys have a great day. Good luck with your website and I'll see you next time. Bye.